All right, so we are back, and today's video is a bit of a frustrating one, but it's a lesson in chasing your goals, finding out if you really want to do something in life. We all struggle with setting goals and standing by them, right? Holding ourselves accountable for the things that we do or say that we want to do and then ultimately maybe don't do. My frustration today stems from the influencer boxing scene and specifically Misfits fighters calling out KSI. Whether it's Anthony Taylor or Salt Poppy or in this case, what we're gonna focus on today, Slim. No one really wants to fight KSI. At least that's not what their actions are showing. And that's why I think we should just stop doing it. It's never going to happen. Now, folks, before we get into this Slim versus KSI or Slim versus Misfits and how that may affect everyone's pockets, I want to help yours thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Ridge. That is right, guys. Ridge is back with more than one product. To keep your pockets clean, pristine, and without clutter by helping you organize in a sleek, smooth way. Your cards, money, and now your keys. Let me explain. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but sometimes I can be a bit of a messy person. But one place I like to stay clean is not just the hairline, but it's also where I keep my money. Which is a good thing because Ridge is back with their signature product. That is right. Bow the Ridge wallet. Look at that thing. Look at the design. Boom, the money holder on the No reason to get cluttered in your regular wallet because this bad boy is holding 12 cards and boom, some place for you to stash that cash on the back. And I know that most of you guys know from the past that your boy likes to carry the Ridge wallet, but what if I told you about the Ridge key case? That's right. Not only are my cards and my dollar dollar bills all in one spot, nice, neat, and pristine, boom. My keys, wow, two at a time are all in the same place. And again, a small and compact design that when I'm done, whoop, go right back in there, go straight in the pocket. And now I don't have many metal swords jabbing me in the leg all day while I'm walking around Target smelling candles in the home and goods sec. When you buy the Ridge key case and you buy the Ridge wallet together, you're going to get 30% off your order. Not only that, but when you use code WAGE, you're getting 10% off that order as well. So click the link in the description. Once again, use code WAGE. And if you have any questions or concerns, one of the best things about Ridge is you're going to get 99 days to trial this product for yourself. If you're not satisfied, you can send it back and get that full refund. Thank you to Ridge for sponsoring this video. And now let's get into the breakdown. Slim versus KSI will never happen, but not for the reasons that you think. What do I mean? The breakdown. Let's go. All right. So like you guys know, KSI, CEO, owner of Misfits, but also number one fighter. It's an odd position to be in because the people that he potentially could fight are also under his card. Also have grown in the Misfits boxing universe, right? People like Slim, Salt Poppy, King Kenny, even Swarms and Luis Pineda, who did fight him, all still have some sort of involvement with Misfits. All are still fighting on this promotion. And that's where I think we're going to get into. KSI being the owner and the top fighter, it's a unique position that puts him in the crosshairs of some people. But also, in a weird way, he doesn't have anything to do with matchmaking. But his manager, Mams Taylor, does. So, yeah, I get it. You don't want to upset the top brass, right? You don't want to shake the foundation because you don't know where that will leave you, but sometimes that tree needs to be shook. Sometimes there needs to be a little bit of anarchy in this scene, and when people are actively calling out KSI for a fight, we need to take that seriously, and we, meaning the people, myself, the fans, whoever, if we don't take you seriously in your call out, if KSI doesn't take you seriously in your call out, if you don't take you seriously in your call out, then there's no reason to do it, and we should just dead it right there. What I'm talking about in this particular case is Slim. Now, I like Slim. You guys know we've done commentary together. He's a great dude. I enjoy hanging out with Slim when I'm around him. He's just a good guy. But I am frustrated with this off-going, ongoing, half-semi-chub call-out of KSI. Where essentially, he, on Twitter, says he wants to fight KSI. And in person, in some ways, kind of says he wants to fight KSI, but also pulls out the, oh, thank you for the opportunities, KSI. I don't want you to hate me. I don't want to ruffle any feathers type thing. It's so fucking annoying to see because, again, it's wish-washy. It doesn't make us take you seriously. It makes us believe that you don't even want the fight. I may not be doing it justice explaining this verbally, but I'm going to show you video to illustrate what I mean. And again, I'll say this here for the people that are going to come in and go, how could you even think this is a possibility? This fight could never happen. KSI is a bigger star. I know that. I get it. 100%. KSI has no reason to take this fight. Zero reason. He could go and fight Tommy Fury in the rematch or some crossover fight in 2024. That's what I think is going to happen. There's going to be a crossover MMA 
somebody is going to come into the scene that's a big name that people take seriously because they themselves take themselves seriously when they call out the KSIs of the world. That'll be a big fight. It'll be amazing. KSI will have a, a, another banger on his hands. But again, I'm not talking about the realistic nature of this fight. I'm talking about the point of calling KSI out on Misfits platform in the first place. If we're doing it, why are we doing it? Is it because we want to attach ourselves to KSI's name for a couple of likes on Twitter? Is it to maybe put yourself in that number one spot when KSI retires? Because all you'll be known for then is having the number one spot because KSI retired. Or is it that you legitimately want that fight? Because that's not what I see from any of these call outs. And again, I know it's a tough position, but we're going to go over So this weekend, uh, Misfits 12, Slim was flown out to uh, Misfits to watch the fights, right? He made these posters anytime anywhere, any place. But he says, let's find out who's the real king of misfits. I like that statement. Let's find that out. Let's see how you explain you being the real king of misfits. Let's see how you're confident in that statement, right? To write that on Twitter, what makes you confident that that is the position you want? So then Slim gets to the arena. Apparently this is gonna be a YouTube video at some point, so maybe we'll watch it when it comes out. But <clears throat> he gets to the arena. And at some point in the night, he goes to call KSI out, right? He goes up to KSI and, and Here's the big moment, the big call out moment. Apparently he had posters and gimmicks and a whole thing, which I could not give less of a fuck about. I don't care if you bring 25 posters into the venue and hold them up in front of KSI's face like a fucking scribe in the Roman times. I, I, that doesn't do anything for me as a fan, for me as somebody that potentially could have interest in that fight. All I want to see is the energy that you gave KSI, that you said, I want to be the king of this. I want to see you do that with the confidence you have directly in his face. And that... That's not what happened. You don't want this. Come on, meal I'll and mix Come on, KSI. You want a piece of that? I'll you got the whole meal. I'll kill you. You, know you want a piece of that? You got the whole meal, Habibi. Habibi, KSI. Come on. KSI. 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 I tried, y'all. I tried. What kind of bullshit is that? Well, y'all, you see that, right? Uh, confrontation of somebody that you say you want to fight that I maybe have ever seen. And again, we're going to talk about why it's a tough position for Slim in a second. I'll get to it. So don't think I'm not understanding of where Slim's at and how tough this is to navigate. I understand it. But at this point, you've said what you've said on Twitter. You've said, and you and KSI have gone back and forth and talked about, oh, you're a bum, all this. KSI calls him a bitch. Straight up was like, yo, you're a bitch. And you say you want to fight him and become the king with all this back and forth that we have. I expect Slim to get in his face and make KSI take him seriously. The reason you see KSI in this video go laughing at him and saying, I will kill you as he walks off and doesn't pay a second mind to Slim is because he doesn't take Slim seriously. Because Slim doesn't take himself seriously with this call out, talking about Habibi this and screaming and saying you can have a snack or the whole meal. None of that shit matters. It's all window dressing. There's no emotion. There's no realness in it. And then the biggest personification of this entire call out is KSI walking away from him, not even looking back and Slim screaming KSI's name as he walks away with no one paying attention. So then turning to the crowd and being like, y'all saw me, right? I tried, y'all saw, I tried, I tried. That's bullshit to me, man. That to me is stagey. Like, look, look guys, I tried to do the thing. You saw it, you, everybody had their cameras out, right? Y'all saw, I tried, I tried. That's just not the energy I think you will need and or should have if you want to fight KSI. If you're already taking second place like this, like Slim lost this interaction already before even talking about a fight he's lost this interaction it didn't look like he was serious about the call out it looked like he was begging it just looked like a gimmick it looked youtube -y. it didn't look real if ksi is sitting there in your face if you're slim you you have to address him with some sort of point confidence like i know man listen everybody here kisses your ass because they're the owner of the company that's cool but i want to be the number one guy and the only person that we fought that's a mutual opponent, I knocked him out first, served him to you on a silver platter and said, this is how you win. Now go do it like I did it. Just do the same thing and you'll be fine, kid. That, I mean, that kind of energy, like I'm 7-0, 5 KO. When I beat people, you know I did it. I don't need a judge's scorecard or my elbow to remind people I'm the man in this bitch. And whether you want to fight me now or dip out of the company, I'm taking this shit over regardless. So you might as well make the choice. Unless you want to just keep avoiding me, that's fine. But I'm going to be here. And this misfit shit, whether you like it or not, I'm taking it from you. Go after him. You have to attack a guy like KSI's ego. You have to make him take you seriously 
by making him believe that you have something to offer to this fight. Because in reality, like I said earlier, KSI has no reason to take the slim fight. It doesn't bring near the amount of eyes as I'm sure something they're planning for KSI. KSI is a massive superstar, far bigger than Slim is. But the one way you goad somebody like KSI, who is very ego-driven, who is very prideful in their work, legacy driven, the things that are important to KSI, you can poke at and he will bite. Those things Slim doesn't do there. He does a little bit of a haphazard, hey, just uh, everybody look at me kind of calling KSI out thing, which is different from the, I want to be the king of this shit energy on Twitter. And it just, it's frustrating to see because this is why no one will ever ascend to that top position at Misfits that isn't KSI. And that's probably not the best move for the company to put someone that's not the draw KSI is that number one guy or put that position even remotely possible, but it's not the problem of Slim or any other fighter on Misfit. The point of fighting in this scene is to be the best. And that's multifaceted. Yes, the best fighter, the best entertainer, the best at drawing eyes, the best at causing controversy. Those things matter. And none of that's accomplished either by sitting back on your hands and saying, yeah, I want the KSI fight, but being reserved to that middle tier or by doing something like this, where you kind of half ass call him out, but no one believes it. And we all move on with our day. That doesn't drive the scene. When KSI retires, someone's going to have to take that next step up. And why would we believe in anyone that didn't already consider themselves better or show us that they wanted to be than KSI while he was here? But like I said, listen, at least Slim, you know, got in front of him and said something, right? Like, that's better than nothing, I guess. But my even bigger problem with something like this is that not only does Slim do that, right? And it just doesn't go over well for him. Then there's a video of him live at the freaking event sometime after confronting KSI saying this to Mams Taylor. And he gave me a chance, an opportunity to fight on Misfits, and it changed, it changed my life, honestly. So I really appreciate That's what he does. This is fine, right? I don't really have any problem with this. You know, you give, you give, again, you're grateful. You give some respect to Mams Taylor for allowing you to fight on Misfits. You're in the middle of an interview. You're trying to show that gratitude. That's fine. But on the other hand, I will say if it is me as a fan, as somebody that, that enjoys a bit of the build and again, wants to take this seriously, I don't even do that because I know that Mams Taylor is the head of Misfits matchmaking, and he's the one that puts on the fight, so you don't want to get on his bad side. And I know that Mams Taylor is also KSI's direct manager, and I even think that Mams Taylor, in an indirect way, is Slim's manager. But we all know that he will always prioritize KSI over Slim, which is why he's turned down this fight. Even despite saying that KSI, in his mind's optimal weight, if he was going to consider boxing full-time, would be 168. That might be a little small for me, but hey, that makes that fight with Slim even more of a reality. He said that he's not going to make the Slim and KSI fight. So again, we probably shouldn't even be talking about it, but if you are like Slim is going to keep kayfabe here. And for my people that don't understand pro wrestling, that means stay with the energy, keep in the gimmick, keep the pressure on camera. Slim can be grateful. He can even be grateful, in my opinion, behind the camera, but when he's in front of, of Mams and when he's in front of KSI and he's actively calling for that fight, you have to act like Mams and KSI are the team and Team Misfits is Team KSI. And again, I'm not saying you have to go full on fucking nuclear against misfits. That's not it. You have to treat these moments if you really want that fight like you really want that fight. Not hugs and kisses. And, hey, man, I'm just appreciative of being here. Unless that's what you, you truly are and that's where you want to stay. If that's the case, you can continue to do that regardless. But just don't call KSI out. Because then it looks like it's a bit wishy-washy. I would have actually liked to seen Slim be like, listen, I just talked to your boy. He don't want none of me. He's running from me. You're helping him run from me by all these little interviews you're doing. If y'all don't want this fight, then give me somebody else to feast on because I'm trying to be the best here. I'm trying to run through everybody in this scene and it's clear y'all don't want that smoke. That's something I would respect a little more here. But again, I know that Slim's in a tough spot. He doesn't want to piss people off that potentially can get on his bad side because he's already gone through that with the whole ducking stuff that was around the Salt Poppy fight and how that whole thing went down with everybody in the Misfits community airing him out on Twitter in public, KSI being one of them. Which again, is why it's confusing to me because Slim will say he wants to fight KSI while KSI is like on Twitter saying he's ducking and calling him a bitch and all this and then he'll say something like this to Mams Taylor. It's all about it. I don't want I don't want KSI here. It's all talking to Mams. All right. Alright. It's all banter. It's all banter. I don't want KSI to hate me. It's all banter. Tell him I said it's all banter. What the f are we doing here bro question for you guys do you think ksi gives a fuck whether slim hates him or likes him do you think mams taylor cares whether slim likes 
KSI or hates him. Do you think Mam Sailor cares whether KSI hates Slim or not? They don't. And this from Slim, again, with the context of him wanting to fight KSI, with him saying he's going to beat him and be the king of misfits, looks like weak sauce, man. It, it does. It looks like Slim is too afraid of getting on KSI or Mam Taylor's bad side by saying what he, I think, really feels is that he can beat KSI. Again, doesn't matter that he's never going to get the fight if he stood on business with it and said, no, I, I'm, I want this fight. If he doesn't want it, then cool. He can go running, but I'm here. I'm ready to go. But instead, you see it there. There's this hedge of the bet, right? There's always this, well, I'll just make sure the KSI doesn't hate me. You know, it's all, it's all just banter. It's all just banter. That turns everybody off to the fight. That turns me off to it. That makes everyone think this is fucking fake and phony and I don't want no parts of it. In my opinion, in influencer boxing, it's hard to convince me on friendly competition. Sure, you can have respect and you can have this back and forth where I'm going to beat you and we're going to keep it strictly boxing. But when you have stuff like this, where it's like Slim is cotton between a rock and a hard place and how he's trying to ask, but not really, but please let me have, but also don't hate me KSI. That shit's not even worth making the call out in the first place. Because you continually confuse the audience and you make us think, regardless if it's true or not, that you're either scared of KSI in the ring or you're scared of KSI Misfits and Mams Taylor out of it for saying the wrong thing. It's that non-authentic approach that doesn't convince anyone of anything you say when it comes to this fight and potentially any others. Because once you cry wolf a couple of times, people just stop believing in the whole thing. So yeah, man, like I said, I just think that people should stop calling KSI out from Misfits specifically because they clearly think they have too much to lose from saying either genuinely what they believe or sticking to their guns on what they've already said. I don't know what it is if they just feel like they don't want to lose their spot or they're just grateful, which again is fine, but I think people are a little too grateful right now in a very selfish business. It's either you have or you don't. It's here today and gone tomorrow. Take advantage of those opportunities in those moments or they'll be gone like that. Now again, I'll explain. I don't think that Slim and KSI was ever really going to be a possibility because it makes no sense for KSI. It doesn't in any way help him get to what I don't know, I guess the place he wants to get to. I don't know if that's still Jake Paul or whatever, but regardless, just for Slim and anybody else that wants to be the number one guy, show us, prove me wrong, or be in the place that you are now, which is not number one, but it's a spot where you can have big fights, make money, continue to grow your brand, and then who knows what happens after. But if you want that number one spot, you have to take it. No one will give that and especially not the guy that's the head of the company and their number one fighter. So yeah, that's where I leave that, man. Listen, Misfits had a great event to start the year. And again, conversations around who KSI is going to be fighting, who Slim's going to be fighting, these are always fun to do, but I want to take them seriously. I want to believe what the people here say and what they want to do in this scene. If you tell us to hop on board, we will. Just leave some space for us. Don't tell us to hop on board the whatever mission we're going to go on, whatever path we're going to take and then hit the e-brake on us and then send us all flying out the fucking front end. We don't, we want to see where this goes. I want to see where the whole scene goes, but you got to give us a reason to do it. Will that happen in 2024? KSI Slim? No, I think it's probably never going to happen. This is why I say we should stop talking about it and people on Misfits should stop calling KSI out because they don't truly want it. But as far as what happens in the influencer boxing scene, for KSI, seems like he's got a fun fight plan. Like I said, I think that's more of a crossover fight. And I don't have the answers as to who, when, why, or where that'll be, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs>